Today our meditation comes from Psalm 103. Keep in mind, depending on the type of Bible, the, 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 the psalm may be different. So if you don't get it in Psalm 103, you get it in 104 or 102. Please be patient and see if we can get the correct, right? So this psalm speaks about the love of God. Bless the Lord my soul from the depth of my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord my soul. Never forget all his acts of kindness. He forgives all your offenses, cures all your diseases. He redeems your life from the pit, crowns you with love and tenderness. And that's why we bless the Lord. Of his, because of his goodness, we bless his holy name. But we don't just want to say praise God and bless God. We want to get, so you evaluate your life. You reflect, you ponder, you remember the goodness of what God has done in your life. And now you say, bless the Lord because he has forgiven all my offenses. He has cured all my diseases. He re has redeemed my life from the pit of destruction. Bless the Lord. And we move on and on. So in order, now let me see. Yes, for us to bless and praise God properly, we must have a good relationship with him. Because if our relationship with God is a superficial one, we go to church from time to time, we day, we day, we day, we day. When coming to praise God, all we, go, we may not be able to do it as effectively as we should. But if we have a good, solid, impact, impeccable relationship with the Lord we can say bless the Lord all my all bless the Lord all from the depth of my being and we recall he has been good to me he is good to me he was good to me he will continue to be good to me consequently I am going to praise him I was in difficult time and he helped me I was sick and he healed me I was afraid and he comforted me bless the Lord and as a consequence, we continue to bless the Lord because of his goodness to us. So continue to read the entire Psalm 103. See if you can get a word, a phrase, a sentence that strikes you. Mark that word down, print it out, and allow that to be your prayer for the entire day. It could be, bless Yahweh all my soul, or Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger and rich in faithful love. That is verse 8. Right? He is of tenderness and he is full of pity, rich in his faithful love. Verse 10. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, nor repay us according to our offenses. So we turn to God and we say, we bless you, because you do not treat us according to the number of sins we commit neither do you repay us as our offenses deserve and so we turn to you and we bless you we praise you and we glorify you and we for now and forever amen amen and amen